On turn to 24 Hour News 8, Sarah Hurwitz, also live in East Lansing tonight, getting a better idea of how the campus community is reacting to Simon's resignation. Sarah. Well, Brian, today students responded by saying thank you and writing thank you rather here on this rock and writing all of the names of the victims. It has been a tumultuous time for this university and quite frankly, many are not sure when it'll bounce back. But there was a consensus today on campus that President Simon had to go. The trust of many broken at Michigan State University, but the heart of campus stronger than ever. Although the administration may not, may not have supported them, that we support them and we want to thank them for just coming out and stepping out and sharing their story. The students say the Larry Nasser case generated unity in the face of horrific crimes, not just for the victims, but to stand up against sexual assault. I think when things happen that um, people disagree with or um, want to protest about it kind of brings us all together and fight for a cause and fight for what's right. But the way the administration handled the Larry Nasser case, many say was far from transparent or in line with campus opinion. It was appropriate that she stepped down and from, you know, from what she did, what she said. I think it's a really good um, time for change and to maybe make sure that MSU is like very open about everything going on and like a trustworthy school. And I feel like if they if they have that face, um, the more people would apply and it won't really affect their incoming classes. And as for the search for a new president, one student has an answer. I think having a person of color as a president could do a good thing, especially being so close to Detroit and just the dynamics of Michigan. It's a lot of culture here. And as for the student newspaper, the... Uh, who called for the resignation last week of President Simon. They do feel uh, vindicated and that their editorial was answered and they are ready to cover the search for a new president. Live here in East Lansing, Sarah Hurwitz, 24 Hour News 8. All right, it's been quite a week on campus there. Thank you, Sarah.